Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Spiritual Generation 11. I hope y'all been taking care of yourself, loving yourself, loving others, learning new knowledge, and teaching new knowledge. All right, y'all. Knowledge is power. Power equals success. Success equals the whole world. All right, y'all. Which path are you going to choose? Or which path are you on right now? Okay, you got two paths. Both can lead you to gold. But one of them, you have to pay the price. What I mean is, you can choose this path that you're on right now to find your true self, to reach a higher level of consciousness, your journey to enlightenment. It's pretty tough, right? But along the way, you learn all kinds of new things about yourself. You meet all kinds of good people like I met a lot of you guys and you're meeting me you know and though it does feel lonely it feels like you may be lost sometimes sometimes some of us detach from our soul or our spirit or at a certain point of our life things get intense and hard and we really feel like we want to give up or we just don't know who we are anymore right but Right now, you know who you are. And each and every single day, you are continuing on this path, this spiritual journey that you're on to reach your true self, your highest, highest self, okay? And that is your purest, that is your truest form, okay? And this journey or this path that I'm speaking about can get crazy, okay? Because there is two sides of spirituality. You got the light and you got the dark. Okay? A lot of people don't mention the dark side of spirituality. Well, that's that other path, okay? Now, I've mentioned it multiple times before. A lot of people who become spiritually awoken end up going down the dark path. Okay? And they utilize their knowledge and turn it into power but that power ends up being bad okay and meanwhile while you are looking at certain people and you be like yo they woke yo they really on top of their shit but behind closed doors they on the other side and they're not as righteous as they seem so you have to keep your eye open you have to choose which path that you want to go on. There could be balance between the two as well. But you and I both know we lean more to the light side, right? Because that just feels right with us, you know. Now, along my journey, I started to wander off into that dark path. Okay? And the shit I seen, bro, I don't want to see no more. Okay? And I feel like Part of the reason why I experience certain things that I experience, whether it's the dark side or demons or anything trying to attack me, is because I have once found myself going down that dark road and really giving myself up for it and felt like, yo, I love this shit, this fucking power, this knowledge, it feels good. And you know what I could do to these people by knowing all I know and they don't know shit? You know how strong manipulation is? Do you know that I have mastered the craft of manipulation? I'm sure a lot of you guys have too as well. But on that side of myself, I no longer like to manipulate people for the bad. Or manipulate people in general, you know? And you just have to be aware, okay? Utilize your knowledge, turn it to power, and use that power for good, okay? Because once you start to drift off into that dark side to that other path you just might not come back from that you might think that you're walking back over there to the light side of the path right but the darkness is continue to follow you follow you so which path are you gonna choose are you sure that you're on the path that you feel most comfortable most most righteous and 
just does it feel right to you or do you still have those thoughts of that dark path and all of the good things that you felt were good or what you could do or what was going to happen think about it good versus evil or balance or the light side or the dark side now <laughs> hopefully I didn't mind fuck a lot of you guys but it kind of all sums up to there's different sides of the spirituality there's a lot of people on the light path who are low key from the dark path and they're just over here hiding behind the scenes pretending that they've always been along that light path, the right path to spirituality. Okay? Now, as me personally going through and going down both paths, I found myself out of that dark path and into the light path, the right path to reach my highest level of enlightenment and my true self. Now, some people don't make it from that dark, you know, that dark path without being sucked back to it. Sometimes I still have these demons trying to fuck with me or trying to steer me in the wrong direction, okay? And they'll come to you in the form of anything, beautiful women, your friends, your mother, your dad, your cousins, anybody, yo, just to get you to come back down that damn path of darkness. But you can make it out of that dark place. You are the light that glows. You are the light that did glow while you were walking down that dark path. And you can find yourself out of it. Okay? So guys, break that down, analyze it, see if you have any understanding of what I'm talking about. If you do, leave a comment below, share your experiences about both sides of spirituality that you may have experienced, the good side and the dark side, or both. Let me know where you're at now. Alright guys, like, share, comment, subscribe. I love all of y'all. Just want to know you're doing great. Peace, love, namaste.